All right, guys, we are back like the Kool-Aid man. We are about to open up the door. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. We have a dead police. Oh, my God. We got a couple. Oh, wow. We have dead policemen and we have dead bad guys. What is happening here? This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good Lord. Who could have done such a thing? This is not good. That's what I'm going to find out. Gordon. Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. That's pretty cool. He's using his voice changer. All right, so exploded human remains. Oh my God. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful. Could this be the scarecrow, maybe? Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Oh, okay. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Dead mercenary, let's go and examine him. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Pallets. Let's go and examine that. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Maybe some nerve toxin. Shot cop. Let's go and examine him. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Unscorched area. Tire tracks. Someone was here when the explosion occurred. A white rose. White rose. Kiss from a rose on, on the tree. All right. Sorry, my voice like kind of cracked. The drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. No. That bad? Oh, my God. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes, then. All right, let's look in his pocket. Skylight. Broken nails, bits of human flesh. This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Uh. Sensors say it's that's gross. Around. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister, causing the aforementioned boom. All right, ripped up face. Okay. Link that to the blood on the hands. A cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? 
The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Link the incinerary bullet to... Not all connected items will reveal valid theories. Break these links to reset them. All right, so let's go and examine this uh, shipping door. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Shift and Q. All right. Shift and Q, alright. <laughs> I was like tapping the shit out of Shift and Q. Canister fragment. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Okay, so we can't go in there. Scrap of metal with a hole melted in it. Maybe we can link that to... Okay, we can't link that to that. Ah, unscorched area. How about... Nope, nothing else. All right, so we're going to break the link on that, and I don't think I can link it to that. So the blast epicenter, linking it to this guy, maybe? Then why are they just giving me that? Alright, so we broke the link on that. Break the link on that. Let's link it to the blast epicenter. The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister. I need to know what caused the explosion. Okay, so we got to find out what caused this explosion. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so we got to somehow link this to something else. Not to the unscorched area. Okay, uh, ba 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 ba. There's nothing else for me to really link this to, though. So let's. Let's see. Can I unlink this? No, I can't. Alright, so let's link... Let's see. Area devoid of explosion scorch marks indicate something was here when the blast occurred. But he said he doesn't think so whenever I try to link these two up. Okay... Wait, wait, I'm confused. So 
so let me break this link and link that to this. Someone drove off after the explosion. Okay, so somebody drove off after the explosion. That's nice. Can I unlink this, please? So I doubt I can link that with this guy's head exploding. But let's try that. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Have you put it together? Yes. Thank God. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. It was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Nice detective work. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Okay, we got something here. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. Oh, we just dodged. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Falcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? I'd rather not get violent. You won't find him. Don't make this more personal than it already is. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones. 
bodes well. It's true what they said about you. You're a friggin' animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. Oh, man. Tell me. That Catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive. Had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Do I have to? I'm not a big fan of seeing limbs break. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals is some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Balcone said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear. I swear. I mean, I told you everything I know. Oh, I'm not that much of an animal. There's a cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. Yeah, let's get out of here. We don't need this right now. He, he tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The bad man. Into the night, baby. Taking this too far, Bruce. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. I hit his ribs once. I didn't even break his arm. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce. But you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, Remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Ah, oh, let's see what's on this drive. Okay. Looks like that egg finally cracked. 
And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. The plot gets thicker. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. I want to get Commissioner Gordon on my good side because, of course, I am the Batman. So we're going to give it the, the data the to Gordon. This war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police and Batman by any means necessary. Uh-oh, Malcolm X, baby. By any means necessary, let's go. Spider, Bruce, eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Huh, I figured he would do it as Batman and not as himself. Guess I was wrong? <laughs> this... This is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't going to change a thing about the investigation of your family. I'm not trying to buy you. Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I'd like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. The investigation isn't the problem. It's the Wayne family name. Help me clear it. If your family's clean, I'll sing it from the rooftops. If they aren't, I'll still sing. You gotta understand. I'm bound to this badge. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. Oh, we got a little bit of trust. We use our first names now. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Ah, it's not just a car. Uh-oh. Is this the Batmobile? 
All right, let's go. We're driving in style, baby. All right, we're at the Skyline Club, 9.19 p.m. About to go and get us some Falcone. Alright guys, and that will be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Well, not this episode, this part. And make sure to like, leave a like if you enjoyed the content. And make sure to comment down below what you do like about Batman and what you don't like about Batman. Also, you can comment down below what other games you'd like to see me play. And this is going to be your boy Boss Pal. Peace out, everybody.